it's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a kit up of our next whip. This Medusa reminds me very much of that newer Percy Jackson series that just came out not too long ago because they depicted her as just this beautiful, beautiful woman. And that's kind of the vibes I get here. Most of the time we see Medusa as like a monster and gray or green stone co colors. And this one, they've made her just beautiful. So we can see that she's got some snaky almost wormy looking snaky situation here. She does have a big one right around here wrapped around her, a big boa constrictor, beautiful blue eyes, beautiful red lips. She's, her nails are on point. I'm a little jealous of her nail game here. Uh, and she's in, you know, it seems to be a, a wooded or heavily foliaged area in the background. Here she is. I have not seen a Medusa depicted quite so beautifully before. I'm not saying it's not out there. I'm just saying I hadn't seen it. So, uh, of course, when we hauled this and you guys seemed to think she was really beautiful as well. And I said, okay, we'll do that next. So here we go. Um, by the way, that's a snake head. I just realized I'm like running my hand all over here. And really, we shouldn't be looking directly into her eyes because... Um, you know, things could happen. There we go. We are now safe. You're welcome. Okay, so let's talk about some stats on her before we get down into the work. I had to add notes. Today's one of those days, guys, where my brain is non-functional, so I apologize in advance. So this is going to be whip number 19 for the year 2024. Um, Medusa, and I kind of put in parentheses beauty because I have several Medusa canvases in my stash. And so that was just my way of like, which, which Medusa is this one? Okay. It's the pretty one. Um, and this is number 504 in my stash. She's a 40 by 70 round drill. We got her from Timu for $9.98 and the colors, 23 of which there are, are as follows. We've got black, hazelnut, brown, dark, brown, light, lemon, light, red, dark, moss, green, orange, bright, red. I'm sorry, orange, red, bright, uh, drab, brown, dark, old gold, dark, golden, yellow, topaz, medium, peacock, blue, blue, dark, coffee, brown, very dark, parrot, green, light, avocado, green, black, coffee, brown, ultra, dark, burnt orange, golden brown light, antique blue, very dark, mahogany light, moss green light, and straw light. There are our vital stats on Miss Beauty Medusa here, and we are now ready to get to work. So, first thing that I want to do, since her eyes are going to be covered, we can move the candy for now. Uh, we are safe and protected. So what I want to do now is go through my handy dandy DMC book. I do have, I have the, the tables here, but I have it printed for my Xyron um, right here. So we're just going to go through here and make sure that we have a representative sample in the DMC color card book situation. Um, we know we have 310. We can skip right over that. 420. That's a good one to have. Why wouldn't 420 be a green? It's a brown. I mean, I guess that, I mean, that could apply too, but like I would have expected to see a green. But anyway, hazelnut brown, we've got it. 434 brown light, we have. 445, we don't have. Let me have it real quick. So what I like to do when I find a color that I don't already have marked in the book it would help if I had had my tools ready, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have. Good YouTuber. That's right. Professional here. Stand back, you guys. Because um, go ahead and put those in. But we're going to do that later. I'm just kind of pre-prepping now. I'm putting in the double-sided tape now. And we'll put the sample in later after we've kitted up. I'm not trying to have a bunch of open baggies. Oh, but these... Actually, these are Ziploc. We can do this now. We can do it now. And do it now we shall. I'll spare you the crinkle. Be right back. All right, we're back. I've spared you most of the crinkle. And if you're a crinkle lover and you're upset that I just 
um, omitted the crinkle from this situation here. Uh, to you, I ask, what is wrong with you? Like, what, we, what is your malfunction? Who likes crinkle? It drives me nuts. You must be one of those ASMR people. Um, my daughter is trying to convince me to try to make ASMR diamond painting here and there videos or shorts or whatever. And I'm like, listen, the microphone on my, my phone picks up a, a mouse farting five miles down the road while I'm talking in a video. What makes you think that I could make any type of ASMR that would people could hear the diamond painting sounds but not hear the TV in the background, the mouse farting, you know, five miles down the road and, you know, all the cockadoodle doing happening outside. It's just never going to happen. Um, if I ever figure out how they, uh, maybe I'll look into it sometime, like a dummy's guide to how to ASMR video. <laughs> maybe I'll make you guys one sometime. Um, but that's not this time. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, 798. Do we have? Yep. Oh, Christmas red. Really? Okay. Um, 798, 498. Mushy, get your head out of your bum. All right. 581. Do we have 581? We do. 606. Yes. 610. Yes. 680. Yes. 670. Uh, how about 728? Oh my gosh. Yes. 783. You guys, it's, it literally is a bad day. <laughs> I've had a really bad week and today just, um, is it much brighter? <laughs> 783, uh, 807, 823, uh, 898, um, 898, 907. You know what? I forgot to mark. Um, I needed to mark this. Why I'm marking over here is because I do need to make a spares contra contrainer container in case we uh, have extras at the end. Um, it just makes kidding down faster for me. So anyway, we were at 907, 934. We have it. 938. We have it. 947. We have it. And 977. We have it. Uh, 3750. We have it. 3776. We have it. Oh, this one's coming undone. I'm going to have to fix that. Future me problem. 3819. We have it. And 3822. We have it. All right. So we were only missing one color out of that whole thing. Hoorah! Okay, you guys, real quick before I do this, I wanted to say um, another benefit to kind of doing that DMC book, aside from the fact that I'm a little OCD and extra, uh, is that it does help me keep like an inventory of what spare drills I have so that I don't have to go like poking around through here and drag this whole tiered container system out and start which tier is it on? When do they, do I have it? So what, if I run out of drills, um, like I did recently on a diamond painting, I can easily, you know, look and see in the DMC book. I do have that, you know, uh, I can go into the container system and find it versus, um, you know, not having, you know, running out and not knowing, do I have this? Don't I? Let me just go all oh, make all this noise and stuff. I, I know. Yes, I do or no, I don't. So that's kind of a benefit to, to my extraness. <laughs> and so this one is going to be 445. It's the only one that we were missing out of our master spares situation here. So we're going to grab the stickers and find 445 in our little DMC stickers. 445, where are you? Don't disassemble number five. Sorry, we watched Short Circuit recently <laughs> and I heard the number five in the, in the 445 and I, it just made me think of that. And boop, I put it in its place. Now I can put the stickers away and we can move on. 
Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I just realized for, oh, sorry. I hit the table. I just realized for a significant portion of this, um, I had had both of her eyes uncovered. And, um, if I, you know, have turned any of you to stone, I apologize and leave a comment below letting me know that you got turned into stone by my negligence. And I apologize. Um, and if you're superstitious and I just vexed you by beep beep showing you her eyes. Oh, and it's in the picture there too. How about we do that? Um, also, comment <laughs> below that uh, I hexed you with her stone eyes. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, that makes total sense. If you have been turned to stone, please leave it in the comments below. Ha! Huh. It's like those um, medicine commercials where they're like, if you or someone you know has died as a result of taking this medication, you might have a class action suit. Call now. And I'm like, if you have died from taking this medicine, please call now. Makes total sense. Uh, anyway, so now that we're through that, the next step here is um, I am going to abandon the baby scissors and I'm going to use the big kid scissors. <laughs> I'm going to cut this out. This is our uh, label. So instead of cutting the canvas or leaving the canvas untaped on that edge, what I like to do is just take a little picture, um, size it up real good, do all the printery things and um, run it through the, the printer to make a piece of paper that I can then chop up and mutilate uh, very unevenly cut like that. <laughs> Um, and run it through my Xyron sticker maker. And, um, I don't know why I'm cutting there because I, okay, well, I'll leave the numbers on for now. Is that right? Is that what I want to do? That isn't really what I want to do because I don't like these numbers on here. Um, but there's no DMC on the bags. So what to do what to do i guess i'll just know these are in order won't i let's see if mushy's either gonna make a really smart choice or a really bad one we'll find out in the heat of the moment won't we um so here we go i think i can manage counting up to 23 on my own with visuals alone but you never know with me <laughs> cutting off the safety numbers oh no all right so we're gonna put the, the baby scissors are gonna go baby bye bye over here. <laughs> okay, throw away our trash. How did a square drill, a square purple drill, somehow came to be? So uh, let's run this through the Xyron sticker maker. Um, I hear some some sundownage outside. I believe he has made it back to the homestead. So we might have a pause and a jump in progress here. I'm sorry you guys missed uh, the action because of the bark machines. Sundown just got back and they were barking. But what I did was literally ran my piece of paper, fed it in here, pulled it out the other side and like a magic it became a sticker and I'm just doing the press and rub situation on it as per the instructions and uh, gonna peel off this this part so we are ready to create stickers um, here we go uh, maybe uh, if I can whew, if I can study my hands and um, make my eyeballs work to I feel like I'm pinching. Am I not? I feel like I'm not even grabbing this little. <laughs> it looks to me like I am, but it doesn't feel like it. There we go. Here we go. All right. Ha ha ha. I win. Okay. So, uh, got that. And then, uh, we'll have to be careful here. Whoop. And then I, I also printed off a thumbnail here. Quite a large one. I might cut it down a little bit, but I'm going to put this in my new reusable sticker book. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and it sounds intriguing to you, please do go check out my videos. Um, fairly recently in the last week or two, I did do um, 
a video where I went down a TikTok shop rabbit hole and I found a reusable sticker book sold by a shop called Burping Fish. <laughs> of all things it was a cute name right and um i just am in love with that new reusable sticker book and i am excited to use it every chance i get so um i'm just trimming the edges here and we're gonna make this a sticker too but um man it's a pretty I, I made it pretty big i'm still learning how to um home make you know my take a picture and turn it into something usable for sticker maker so uh sometimes we end up with stuff like really big like this but she's pretty right so why not okay and it'll fit in here so basically same as the other one gonna just kind of lightly get it stuck there you don't have to push it or anything you just pull it this side and voila some crazy sounds later that aggravate the bark machine and press and rub choo -choo 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 -choo. same thing as with the sticker sheet DMC sticker container label -y situation for the love of Pete for the love of Pete okay all right this might be a job for Cynthia this might just be a job for Cynthia oh is that my hero mm. I hear now I don't know if it's your hero, but Sundown's here. <laughs> um, I'm having some coordination issues. Got it. I got it. I got. I got it. I'm having some coordination and vision issues here, sir. All right, there we go. And I'm I'm covering her eye. Oh, we gotta cut, double cover her eyes mm -hmm. so people don't get stoned. <laughs> oh, hold on. Okay, sorry about that, you guys. Uh, so now that we've made a whip sticker, let me find where I'm housing currently my whip stickers, though this may change because I can move these around because reusable, oh, don't look at that. Um, let's we'll start right there. <laughs> that was not for you to see. And don't even think about pausing or rewinding. Just stop being nosy, stop. All right, so now we have our sticker. And well, boom, there she is. There she is. Now I have not attempted a, I did it when I tested this book and reviewed it. I did um, use a Xyron sticker, a smaller one. Look at that, sticky, not sticky. Wow, amazing. So it even works on some of these bigger stickers like that. So, uh oh. There we go. I don't need any lawsuits. I gotta keep her eyes covered. Okay, so I'm gonna put my sticker book away and get to work work. Now, usually I would kit up an Elizabeth Ward situation, but um, as you may have seen, I was gifted this Craftmates case by Eileen at Diamond Crafts by Eileen. Go check out her channel. And I thought, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Now there are more compartments than I need for this, but that's okay. Look, it opens up nice. Now, I've got to decide which side I, I'm right-handed, so do I want to use the right side? Is that Does that make sense? Or like, yeah, maybe? But if I'm sitting on the couch, I'll probably grab with my left. No, what do I do? Um, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna go with this side. I'm gonna go with this side. So what I'm gonna do is, I think the most prudent course of action here, I'm not used to kidding up like this. Um, I did already pick some washi tape out, so uh, not not with, with containers like this. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna get, hopefully not stupid and just lazy. Uh, <laughs> the goal is always like be lazy, but hopefully I'm, I'm not doing the stupid. Um, but I'm gonna cut all the way across, or cut put the tape all the way across there and then I'm going to take my little ceramic oh I almost tried to stab myself with scissors my little ceramic pen knife and just um, cut the tape in between each section oh and rip it away okay there we go um, mushy get your stuff together so voila like that okay well that seems to work so we have 23 colors 
Um, I don't know. I'm looking at these pack packets of drills. I don't see any that are standing out to me as being going to, you know, like need multiple containers. So I think I'm just going to tape up the 23 that we need. Did I just seal this container shut? Yeah, I did. By, oh, and that was silly because I haven't cut the tape yet. Mush. Please, please, Mushy, cooperate with yourself. All right, so let's cut, 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 cut. Why am I washing these? Because I don't want to permanently muck up the top. So we've got seven and seven, that's 14. This will be 21. And we're just going to kind of go across here. I picked green um, for obvious reasons. There's lots of green in this diamond painting. Snakes are green. Medusa green made sense to me. So um, I could easily look at this and just see the washi tape and be like, yeah, of my current whips, the green, that's Medusa. I can tell um, visually. So there's 21 and then we just need 22 and 23 over here should be oh I, that's way too much uh should be all that we need like that and then i'm gonna fold my tape over just a little bit just as a safety precaution because i have a bad habit of taping my tapes shut if that makes sense <laughs> like where i can't get them I, I can't find the opening and get it back all right so there we go and uh, I'm just gonna take that little piece off. There we go. Voila. All right, so that was quick and easy, like that. That, okay. Could you, Medusa, work with me here. Okay, sorry. Didn't want you to see that, that nasty, angry part of me. <laughs> Get mad at Medusa for not working with me here. Okay, so here we go. Um. Let's just start from the bottom backwards, uh, since I've, I've got these here. I'm going to go ahead and um, unlock, and uh, what do I want to do first? Let's get, let's be safe and get the DMC sticker on there. So I'm just going to cut off number 23, which is the bottom of the list, and get my little tweezers. And 23 right here. Put the sticker on the washi tape. And voila! Okay. And now we can pour. Now, I don't trust myself to pour from the baggie into the container um, without making a big mess. So I'm just going to empty the baggies into a boat of pouring. And we're going to pouring this in here. Like that. Boop, boop, boop. And, haha. -ha. Okay, well, that's pretty simple and easy. All right. And we're going to do that for all the containers. So, while we do that for all the containers, let's talk. Hi. So, hi, everybody. Um, does anyone want to hear the Mom Down saga continues? <laughs> uh, if you saw a whip and chat I did not too long ago. We're having some problems with mom down. Okay, having some problems. Um, and it continues. So uh, mom down was given access to Facebook by brother down. And uh, regretfully, after us have working for so, so hard for so long to keep her off of it, uh, brother down came for a visit, put mom down on Facebook, and uh, she's been falling for all the scams. Um, the most recent one we discovered just the other day. Uh, mom down uh, was telling Sundown that she has met a new friend on Facebook. Well, that's good for you, Mom Down. Good for you. Um, but this new friend is young and has been orphaned. Orphaned. She has no parents and no other family. The poor soul 
is um, is orphaned and all alone in the world. And golly gee, wouldn't you know, Mom Down is literally the perfect possible mother figure that that young woman, not little girl, young woman, has ever wanted or needed in her whole entire life. She is mom down is is mom perfection personified for this young woman um what a quinky dink and um as such would very much love nothing more in the world than for mom down to adopt her financially of course um so, so if mom down wants to keep this, this new sweet young, and of course mom down doesn't have any, you know, biological daughters or stepdaughters. She's, she's only ever had sons and the only other kind of daughter figure that she has or female, you know, fam familial, um, you know, connection would be granddaughters and, uh, daughter-in-laws. Well, one daughter-in-law and one, like, I don't know what you, fiancé-in-law, I don't know. Um, that's all she has. So she never, she never had a, a, a biological daughter of her own or a stepdaughter of her own. And only boys, only a couple boys. And boy, would she just, would her life just be so complete if she could have a daughter daughter okay. and uh you know so what does mom down want to do adopt her new friend from facebook as her own adopted you know that girl was like i want to adopt you as my mom will you adopt me as your daughter I'm so sad and lonely and I'm orphaned and I, my fam I got no family. I've got nobody out here to help me and be with me and be friends with me and be family with me and the whole sob story. Um, now, please do not take offense if your real life story is reminiscent of that story. Um, I, I sympathize with people who have had those losses and hardships and f those feelings do not misunderstand. Uh, the problem here is that this is a scam. In fact, we have seen in our local news from town, the, the big town, um, that there are a, an alarming r number and a rash of, oops, dropped one, of drop three wow of people falling prey to scams in specifically in town and predominantly elderly victims um so like there is there is some operations going on around town um with the intent on scamming people like mom down but does mom down want to hear those rations or er, rations, those rationales and logic? Nope. That reality? Nope. Uh, so yeah, that was, um, that was her new newest news to sundown. Uh, so that was dandy. And, um, also, uh, it turns out that, oh, phew, mom down is just you guys it's like a full-time job trying to keep this woman under control <laughs> uh yesterday sundown went over to across the street to mom down and dad down's house to help dad down with some things over on the property and while there was discussing with dad down how things were going. Now, Dad Down has, I believe it's COPD. Uh, he has breathing lung oxygen issues for which he has an oxygen tank from his doctor or whatever uh, to 
breathe and therefore stay alive. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's what it does. Keeps him breathing so he can live. Um, it turns out that yesterday, Dad Down was asleep still in the early morning. Uh, early morning being, you know, 8, 9 a.m., whatever. When Dad Down's doctor calls. Dad Down did not wake up to answer the phone, but Mom Down did. Mom Down answered that phone. Uh, Mom Down and Dad Down sleep in separate rooms, and uh, so therefore Dad Down, you know, no idea what I'm about to tell you even transpired. You know, you had no idea. Okay, so uh, pause. So we have extras of this, and you know what? I'm looking at these containers, and I'm thinking you're you're big mamas here. You're you're pretty big containers. You're big. You're you're pretty hefty. So um, we're big mama jammas over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it up and we're gonna stick it in there. And when I need to refill this one, I will grab from there. When? Okay, back to the story. So, yeah, so Mom Down answers the phone because Dad Down is asleep in, in another room and slept through the phone ringing and she answers, you know, hello, this is Mom Down. Uh, doctor says, need to speak to Dad Down, please. This is Dad Down's doctor. And Mom Down says, well, you can talk to me. Um, because he is currently sleeping and, uh, Dr. Down said, or doc, well, I guess we could call him Dr. Down. Dr. Down says, um, yeah, I kind of really need to speak with the patient dad down. Mom down says, well, that's not happening. I will not wake him up. You speak to me or, you know, you call back. So the doctor says, listen, I'm busy mom down. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you. Uh, we were calling to see how Dad Down's doing with his oxygen. Uh, we noticed that, you know, he's due for a tank refill or replacement or whatever. Does Dad Down need more oxygen? Mom Down weaves a tale of a miraculous Dad Down recovery and, uh, 17 was here. Okay. I got, I got panicked for a minute, thought I messed up my numbers, and um, convinces the doctor somehow that Dad Down with COPD no long, and on oxygen currently, no longer needs his oxygen. And doctor buys it, agrees to, you know, okay, well then we're not going to send his new tank or a refill or however that works. They said, okay sounds good we'll cancel the oxygen what what ta, ta, ta. <laughs> um dad down is not miraculously recovered i hate to break it to the world i'm sorry it's sad uh but it's the truth and absolutely still requires the aid of oxygen for life <laughs> to live uh, so what in the Sam hmm, mom down was doing, saying, or thinking, we may never really know. All we re all we do know at this moment is that, um, a doctor, what is your problem? Like uh, maybe she's on his list of like people that can discuss the medical with. And, and so he was talking to her and letting her make decisions or whatever. Dad down is not incapacitated. He was just sleeping doctor. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, just willy nilly. Oh, okay. That's great. He's doing good. Let's take him. Let's, okay. We'll cancel it. Mom down. Just cause you said so. What? Mom down. Isn't a doctor. Mom, mom down's a country bumpkin. Like she thinks she's like doctor mom down medicine woman, but no, no, she is. She, she, she is not a medical professional. Um, I, Oh, we are like furious with whatever 
doctor that is. Uh, we need to, we did have a talk with, with dad down <laughs> about this. Like, dad down, that's not okay. Uh, you need to suss out what, what was happening there because if this is exactly, if this is actually what happened, um, that's a big no, that's a big problem, dad down. But yeah, so dad down, um, got his oxygen canceled by mom down for literally no valid reason. Uh, he is not feeling better. He is not breathing better. He still relies upon his oxygen. So we cannot fathom what is occurring in mom down's mind to make her tell and convince what could she have said or done to convince the doctor over the phone that dad down doesn't need his oxygen anymore. What are you? Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, that right there in combination with some other things that have been going on, uh, like we had to rush mom down to the emergency or urgent care. Uh, we went to, they, well, we, uh, being sundown and, uh, Leah, um, had to literally force, uh, unfortunately we had to use some verbal bullying tactics, I guess, um, to get mom down in the, out of the house and into the car to go to the urgent care because the night before this urgent care visit, apparently she decided at dark o'clock at night when she can't see in the dark, um, that she was going to drive to Littletown town and do some grocery shopping at Walmart for several hours. Did not arrive back home until after 10 p.m. and was outside. Dad down had already gone to bed and so uh, she was bringing the grocery goodies in from out and she fell. Um, I'm realizing the error of my ways in the moment, by the way, in terms of how I'm kidding this up because I did, I'm doing it in DMC order and not in uh, any kind of, we're gonna see if we can maybe move these tapes around. We'll see what's up. Anyway, um, it's a learning experience. New, new kit to me, I'm learning, okay? Um, why didn't you tell me I was messing up in the beginning? That was rude. Okay, so anyway, yeah, uh, she was bringing the groceries in, had finished bringing the groceries in, I don't know, we, she said she quit smoking, but now all of a sudden she is smoking, I don't know, but she was either outside enjoying the nighttime air, or she was outside smoking, and fell, fell off of her porch deck situation, uh, and down like in a little hill or whatever she fell um and injured herself cut up her arm pretty good uh imagine um i don't know arm plus wood chipper or meat grinder equals mom down's arm uh got yeah got chewed up pretty bad um and she had some contusions and bruise you know bruising and bumps and soreness uh this happened at 10 p.m the previous night she claims that she went inside and dad down was then suddenly awake and out of bed and just sitting there watching her bleed and uh be in pain and not offering any help whatsoever just watching her suffer um, I can tell you that that is not Dad Down's M.O. in his nature at all. That is not him. So we automatically were not in belief of that reality. That that was not the reality of the situation. Um, but she was trying to convince us that's what happened. She was like, I wanted him to take me, but he wouldn't take me. He just sat there and stared at me while I bled and suffered. So... Um, and that was, I think, Mother's Day night is when that happened. The, the night of Mother's Day. 
So, uh, and then Sundown was being told this the next morning, the morning after Mother's Day. So, um, he was like, well, you know, how bad is it? And she was like, you know, on the phone, she was like, oh no, it was, it's no, just a scratch. I'm fine. And he was like, are you sure? And she said, yes, I am fine. Um, and he was like, well then, you know, what about the urgent care? Oh, he was just being overprotective, you know, or I, it was just, I don't know. I don't know what the excuse was why she didn't go the night before, but I think she, she was like, well, I thought I needed it, you know, but now I don't. So, um, and, and Sundown was like, okay, well, mom down, if you're sure then, you know, cause he was, he was in town and she was out, you know, way back home. And, um, so he's like, if you're sure that you're sure that you're fine. Oh yeah. Everything's fine. So he, she knows he's out driving you know, and work, you know, doing some work in town and running errands and such. And yet, you know, she, you know, tells, drops this bomb on him. I fell. I was hurt. I thought I needed urgent care. Turns out, you know, here it is the next day. Don't really need it. Um, I'm fine. But as soon as he hung up the phone and, and pulled onto the road and started driving, what happens? mom down texts a picture of her arm and like I said pretty gory looked pretty it actually looked really really bad like so bad that sundown would not show me because uh he did not want to induce a panic attack or anything for me seeing the the wound and the blood and that stuff it was that bad and uh so of course he comes rushing back home and grabs Leah down and they head over to mom down's house across the street and mom down tried to resist but um failed uh she tried to what's that oh no um because I can't find bag number seven six five four I should be on bag number okay here's seven all right all right but wait Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm on bag eight. Eight come and then seven, then six. Okay, mushy, 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 mushy. All right. Anyway, um, they go over. Mom down is still like in her, uh, her nighttime apparel. Ladies, you know what that might resemble, and what may or may not be included under that nighttime apparel. They didn't care. They didn't give her a chance to go to the bathroom. They didn't give her a chance to run a brush through her hair. They didn't give her a chance to <laughs> put on undergarments. They were like, nope, you're going and you're going now. Right now, 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 now. You are like injured and bloody and what? WTF, mom. WTF. Well, uh, during the car ride to urgent care is when they heard the story about her newly adopted Facebook youngin, uh, and that the youngin has adopted her as well, but, um, the money only flows one way. Surprise. Um, then they, you know, they found out about that and they heard the story about how this occurred the night before and dad down didn't you know, want to take her. And then when she woke up in the morning, she felt better and like she didn't need to go. So she didn't, but obviously she felt something because she told sundown on the phone. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Nothing to see here. And then immediately after hanging up, texted him this gory picture. They get to the urgent care and, uh, the doctors are taking a look here in the story of what happened, etc., And they're like, it's a superficial scratch. There's, it's not that bad. Um, after having gotten it cleaned up and stuff, it was apparent that it was not nearly as bad as depicted in the picture. So, uh, and when compared to the picture, um, I don't think mom down is capable of doctoring or altering a picture per se with like editing 
So I'm not saying that occurred, but what I will say the theory is, is that boy, she took it in the worst lighting at the worst angle, maybe possibly agitated it or at very least before, you know, refused to, to clean it up, just made it look worse, much, much worse than what it was. Um, so, you know, she was trying to instigate that shock value to Sundown because remember, they had Sundown was talking to Mom Down and she said, no, 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 it was a small, I'm fine. No, I'm not hurt. Everything's fine. But the minute he hangs up, she sends a picture to a man driving a vehicle in town uh, of a gruesome injury. Uh, that was actually worse than what it, what it really was. Um, but you know, to her, she sent, she sent this picture to her son while he was driving after just telling him she was fine. Um, and she knew he was driving. So, uh, poor decisions, poor decisions, uh, lack of, uh, rational thought, rat. I, you guys, you guys, it's, it's getting, it's getting serious. Um, I will tell you, you know, I'm telling you all this stuff and you guys are all probably like, oh my gosh, you, why aren't you getting help? You should be getting all this, you know, adult protective services or some nurse or some, some, somebody should be doing something. We are, we are, um, sundown and daughter down Leah, um, spoke with doctors privately at the urgent care expressed their concerns and uh the fact that we have called adult protective services and they're basically like we really can't do anything until basically until something happens or she gets a, di a diagnosis from a neurologist that she has a one of the forms of dementia um so we can't we can't you know, just because she's making bad choices and uh, seems to be like confused or, you know, and, and injuring herself and, and all this stuff, we can't, you know, go to her home and take her. This is a free country. You know, it has to be more than that. And we're like, what more? I like, she's taking people off somehow, managing to get convinced doctors to take people who need oxygen to live off of her oxygen she's hurting herself she's a danger to herself she's a danger to others like what more do you need I don't understand um you know but it is what it is so uh we are in contact with her doctor who can do something so um sundown you know, spoke to the urgent care and they're like, we don't really do that here. You need to talk to her PCM. And he was like, well, fine. So they finish up there, which was basically just doing some scans to make sure, you know, there's no broken bones or anything, you know, crazy. And she's all fine. Cleaned up the wound, sent her on her way. No meds, no stitches, no nothing, just cleaned up. And, um, she was just fine. Um, so then, uh, you know, they take her home, sundown, uh, went to go get her a refill of some medications that she needed. And while he was gone, he called and spoke with the doctor and he could do that because he is on her, you know, people allowed to talk to the doctor about medical stuff for her. Yeah. He's, so there was no HIPAA violation or anything. He's, he's on the list. And so he called the doctor. Um, this was the second time he's reached out to the doctor expressing concerns. And he was just updating the doctor. He's like, look, this just happened. Uh, and the doctor was like, well, she has an appointment tomorrow to come in and see me. Uh, I will do an evaluation at that point. If I feel that there is some merit here, which it sounds like, you know, this is a concerning situation. I have the ability, if I find with my own you know, investigation in the office that she needs to be even further evaluated. Uh, I can put her on a 72 hour hold and have psych and neurology and all this stuff. And we're like, yes, that. So he's like, well, we'll, we'll do that tomorrow at the appointment. Um, so Sundown was like, okay, good. I've convinced her to let me bring her, you know, drive her to the appointment tomorrow. So I will be there 
to talk to you and answer any questions and whatever. And the doctor's like, fantastic. All is looking good. We're like, ooh, we're going to get some help, right? You know, she needs help. Um, things are starting to slide out of control over here. We're getting told. <clears throat> we're getting told by you know state agencies we can't help we can't help we can't help go to court go to court go to court talk to her doctor you know but not us we're not helping well what are you for then adult protective services okay i like what anyway um thanks for nothing right but uh so now we got doctor we got doctor down on board doctor down is severely concerned and he's like well she's coming in tomorrow um you're bringing her in right and he's like yep sundown said yep yep i am and he was like, okay, well, we'll suss this out tomorrow and, and figure out what we can do and what needs to be done. I've got the power. I'll, I'll utilize it if necessary. And Sundown was like, cool, good, great, help, finally. Um, then the next day rolls around. Sundown calls mom down, said, mom down, I'm about to head over, pick you up for your appointment. Mom down says, Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Sundown's like, why? I, I'm driving you. It's You shouldn't be driving anyway. You're, you can't be driving. Um, Mom down says, oh, well, I haven't planned. I, you know, I'm not driving. I'm just not going. And he's like, um, excuse me, you're, uh, what, what did you say? And she's like, yeah, I called earlier this morning and canceled when they opened and I canceled my appointment, rescheduled it for June. Why mom down? Why would you do that? Mom down says, because I don't feel good. I cannot go to the doctor today because I don't feel good. Let that one sink in for a minute, folks. Again, just in case I like cut out or something, I can't go to the doctor's appointment this morning because I do not feel good. I don't know about you, and let me ask you a uh, serious question here. When you don't feel good, where do you go to get help? Um, I'm gonna just go on a limb here. Maybe this is presumptuous of me. I don't know. I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that most of you, if not all of you, responded immediately with, to the doctor. That's where you go when you don't feel good. So why, if you don't feel good, did you cancel the appointment that could make you feel better? Um, sundown was livid that the doctor's office, A, just, you know, like, I guess they can't make her, you know, do anything. <laughs> like, they can't, you, they can't say no. Uh, you call and cancel, you call and cancel. But knowing that she um, is suspected of having dementia, like her parents did at this age, both her mom and her dad. Um, so if there's a genetic component, that could be at play here. But she is, like, putting herself and others in harm's way and getting injury and canceling oxygen. <laughs> Um, for, for her, I, you know, I, I hate to say like boyfriend, they're not married, but they have lived together for like 500 years and, uh, you know, they were childhood sweethearts, like since they were teens and stuff. So, uh, yeah, but, um, what, like <laughs> you just let her say, yeah, no, thanks. I don't feel like coming in after all. Um, but I mean, I guess I get it. You can't, that what was the doctor going to, you know, do? But, uh, so sundown was like livid that they were just like, oh, sure. They rescheduled it for, I think it was the first week in June. So now we've got to go another couple weeks with mom down being a danger to herself and others, uh, and, and falling for scams and, you know, and we can't, we cannot get any effing help. And every time we're like, yay, we found help, we're saved, and she's saved, and her, I mean, it's not all about us. This really is, like, not about us at all. It's about, she needs help, you guys, more than we are capable of handling at this point. We've handled it to this point, but things are getting dangerous for her, for um, dad down, and, like, 
it's beyond what we can we are capable of and so we're calling all the agencies we're calling all the people we're calling the doctors we're calling anyone and everyone that can help and can listen and can do something and nothing is getting done they're enabling her to cancel appointments and and such and i'm just like what are you doing here people but um yeah, after after sundown found out mom down canceled and rescheduled that appointment that was supposed to be the one where she was going to get evaluated and potentially held at a facility for 72 hours to be further evaluated and, and get the neurology and and psychology involved just to to confirm are we are we demented here or or you know are we okay. Um Hold on, crinkle. You know, uh, <laughs> um, and she could just cancel it. Man, I tell you what, I was so uh, scared, hurt, upset. I was all the things, you guys. I was all of it. Um, quick pause. So we do have our kit here. Here it is, right here. We put baggies of spares here, uh, three ten extras here, and I mean we got room for a whole other kit if we want to. I'm digging this, digging it. So here it is. Oh, you know what I wanted to do though? Um, what I wanted to do was try to see if I can um, maybe finagle some of this washi because I didn't think this through very good. I was just like wanting to get it done. I didn't put this in like alphabetical order or anything. So let me see if I can fix that. I'll be right back. Okay, mischief managed. I did get this um, straightened away and in order. It took me a little time and some moving things around, but I got it done. We were A, B, C, all the way through Z. We have our spares right here, and uh, all is right in the world. So worked out pretty good. Learned some things. Um, and while I was getting this up, I had an epiphany. I was like, these would be perfect for my coaster sets because those drills um, kind of the way they're ordered and and uh the fact that i don't keep you know dmc and stuff like that it's always abc one two three i think these would be really good for my coaster sets and i think that's going to be my next next test after we finish using it for this i want to see how it works out for me with coasters but for now this is our kit we have it done snapper on up could chink and uh look at this just yay set it aside right here and now what we have left to do is tape the canvas um so yeah i i, I want to put a little disclaimer like all this stuff uh you know i'm getting a little personal talking about mom down like the struggles that we're having and the help we're trying to get uh a um I am not disparaging mom down. I am simply relaying like what is going on, what we're thinking and, um, you know, what we're trying to do to help because, um, maybe some of you have been through something like this or know someone who has, has some experience. Maybe you're in a field that has experience with this, um, kind of thing, you know, if you have advice, I'm open to it. Uh, just be nice, you know, constructive criticism, constructive advice. We have reached out to Adult Protective Services and SALT for their consultation, and we're advised to, um, yes, this woman absolutely needs help, but we are not the right people, at least not right now. You have to first go through her doctor, etc. Uh, and that's what we're doing. Uh, we're trying. Um, we you know, are giving her as much time and attention as one reasonably can and still conduct our normal daily lives. We do, um, you know, have a farm to run and Leah works and Sundown's got his landscaping mowing situational business, whatever, um, you know, and so we can't live over there and be at their every beck and call and essentially you know we cannot babysit um 24 7 we are just across the street um you know so if they need help we are literally 30 seconds away and can can 
be there to provide the help needed. Um, you know, we do what we can to take care of them. We run as many errands for them as possible. Uh, we um, make sure that they stay healthy and fed and, you know, nutritional foods and such. Um, you know, we t help take care of their property. I, I'm not entirely sure you know, what more we can do. Like I said, we've reached out to the requisite agencies that uh, are supposed to help and deal with these things to seek out their advice, guidance, and whatever help they can provide us. We are in contact with the doctor who um, can actually, is the only person on the planet apparently that can um, do anything. Um, you know, some might say, well, you could talk to her. And uh, believe me, talks have been had. That does not go well with a, you know, someone who is not fully in touch with, uh, I'm sorry, but it's the truth, not fully in touch with reality and not fully accepting of factual evidence. Um, that does not it is hard to logic and reason with someone who no longer has the capacity to logic and reason, if that makes sense. It is not me being uh, judgmental or, um, you know, mean or anything like that. It is a fact. It is simply a fact. We're just, we're doing everything that we can. I don't know of anything else that we could be doing, but if someone else has been through this or is going through this, or like I said, works in a field that deals with this, uh, open to suggestions. Is there a resource that we have not tapped yet? Um, again, for like the umpteenth time, just to be clear, I am messing up my tape, but just to be clear, we have tapped into uh, and reached out for help from Adult Protective Services, seeking their aid, their investigation, their their guidance, anything, any help. <laughs> we have and are in contact with and have reached out to, uh, you know, Mom Down's PCM, um, you know, for help guidance that is, that help is coming we just got to get her in the dang office and when she's canceling appointments she has no you know she she should not uh have any idea you know like oh they're trying to get me evaluated so i need to avoid this it, there that should not be on the radar so it's not that it's it's literally you know i don't feel good so i'm not gonna go to the doctor today <laughs> what? Um, you know, so it's not her trying to delay the inevitable or anything like that. It's, it's, um, you know, what else can we do? You guys like what else can be done? And the next thing that, that is on the list, if she keeps canceling appointments and refusing for us to be able to get her into her doctor for the necessary treatment and evaluations, we're looking at, uh, we're, we're looking at court, you know, uh, we're looking at having to get the state court involved and I, you know, our primary concern, it, it is not anything having to do with inconvenience or, um, you know, anything like that. It has to do with, we need to take care of her the best we can. She, we need to make sure she gets the help she needs and the care that she needs. And, uh, we're trying, we're trying, but the system is making it so difficult. Uh, don't know what more we can do to try. In the meantime, you know, we take it day by day, I guess is the best that we can do. Um, in trying to, you know, dodge pitfalls like these Facebook scams that she's falling for and, um, you know, get her to the doctor when she needs a doctor. Um, 
and run her errands to try to keep her contained as much as we can at her homestead versus out trying to drive in the world uh you know but um we have we have called ambulances police came out when she had her first incident in her vehicle uh, and made a police report but you know they didn't feel per it prudent to pursue any kind of action to take away her license or suspend it um, so they were no help uh, adult protective services is not really any help they did give some advice and guidance but did not step in and start action um, the doctor's willing to help but the problem's getting her in there and uh, I don't know of any other resources you guys but it's becoming bigger than we can handle and she's becoming more and more dangerous to herself and others as days go on um so yeah that's kind of you know kind of it and and I try to try to tell these little tales with a little bit of levity only because I'm the sort of person that if it comes becomes too heavy if I don't add some humor find that humor in there somewhere uh that funny angle to lighten the, the circumstances y'all go nuts <laughs> so um please don't mistake me inserting levity in anything that I discuss with this regard as me being uncaring or unsympathetic. It is just my coping mechanism for dealing with uh, such a sensitive and heavy, stressful topic. But um, yeah, I'm open to uh, constructive criticism, um, you know, and any advice or resources that you might know of. In other news, we are done kidding up Medusa Beauty. And uh, here she is. What do you guys think? Do we love her or what? Do not stare into her eyes. They're not covered. So if you turn to stone, that is not my fault. Again, uh, tell me, let me know in the comments below. Did you look into her eyes? Uh, did you make it? Are you stone? Are you uh, still alive and, and warm and, and breathing? Um if you you know if you need me to uh come and and uh unstone you let me know i will do the best i can can make no promises but yes i'm really excited about this some beautiful vibrant colors we're going to get to try out our new case courtesy of eileen um and yeah let's see if we can get her done before the begin the beginning of june when we start our june food event if you hadn't heard or you have forgotten june 1st i'm having an unofficial official paint along with mushy event it's food themed um also if you do some kind of meat food and it was like once an animal or an animal product like an egg or you know uh you know a bunny or roadkill uh that kind of thing could also apply to true vampire crafts Ju official paint along with friends june event which the theme is animals um but for food i'm looking for the crazier the better uh the you know do your thing if you're cute find the cutest if you're kind of kooky find the kookiest if you're kind of spooky and gross find the spookiest and grossest um find it all and do, come over here do it on my channel with me for the month we'll do updates i'll post pictures whatever you want um let me know in the comments below if you want to participate or you can reach me on facebook um private messenger situation or you can reach out to me on any of the socials really tiktok instagram facebook you can email me that's in the description box below as well all my contact info and with that we're done time to get to work on her yay i can't wait i'm excited on your way out hit the like button for me uh helps a girl out also if you haven't subscribed but you think you might want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next time i upload a video also be sure to check out my channel homepage for the playlist where i have my friends videos listed there so if you're looking for who are my friends with and what are they talking about and doing on their diamond painting channel you can go watch some of their videos and go check out their channel straight from my home page as well and with that uh, we're done here i will see you in the next one stay naughty uh -uh.
Wee -oo, wee -oo. Um, I almost forgot, you guys. I was so anxious to get started. I forgot we were going to see if we had some A-B situation we could do here. Let's check that out before we go. Okay, so I'm not really sure what the most efficient way to do this is. So I'm going to, like, try. I guess the first thing I want to do is um, check the DMC on the kit and see if I have a correlation in here. And then once I discover if yes, I do have a direct correlation, find out where it's gonna go on the canvas and see if it's somewhere that makes sense. Um, the earliest number, let's see, do I have, um, let's see, 420. I don't think we only had the 413, uh, 823. Let's check the 800s or over here. Nope, only had the 801. Uh, five, I don't remember any fives. 936, I know, yes, we do have a 936 right here, and that's the letter D. Let me see where D falls within, within the canvas to find out if that's one that we want to do. I immediately I'm seeing some D in her hair here. Um, it's sprinkled in her hair. That could be an interesting accent. It is also sprinkled on this snake here, which might get a little, could be a little confusing. Um, no, you know what? That's part of a snake. It's not her hair. That's part of a snake. So we could accent some of the brown areas of a, the snakes throughout her. Um, she does have some D's around her eyes too, though. It could also accent her eyes. D's pretty heavy throughout most of here. That might be a little too much. It would be a nice accent here around her eyes, perhaps, or just maybe around this primary snake. That that is that is a possibility so in terms of direct correlation we have 310 ab's and there is a lot of 310 so i don't know that a 310 ab unless we carefully select where we want it is going to really work out here and then we have this like avocado dark green black which we discussed was in the snakes and heavily throughout like her hair and anywhere there was shadow and it was around her eyes and then we have this 934, um, which was 934, the letter R. Um, and considering it's a dark brown, I'm also going to go on a limb here and say that, yeah, it's right here around her eyes in the shadowing and shading. Um, there's some R here, some R here not seeing too much R. It's sprinkled a little bit throughout in here also. I really am hesitant to sprinkle ABs randomly and I and these are big color blockings of it. So let's kind of look. I saw some colors that I have that are really really similar though they aren't you know the exact DMC for it, but for example, this 781 uh, is very, very similar in base color to 680, I think. I think that's, that's something we could do. So let's find out where X is. Uh, X, okay. So I'm seeing this X color um, kind of here and there accents, some of the highlighty accents on the snakes. And I see it also, um, where are some other X's? There's X's around her jawline here, which I'm not sure I would want to A, B accent her, her jawline. It's a little bit sprinkled in the background here and a little bit throughout the snakes. I could limit adding the ABs to snake parts only so that the snakes, maybe that's what we'll do. Um, what if we find AB correlates for the snakes, specifically perhaps her eyes? I do have some pretty blues in here that I think could work for her eyes. And I do have, 
do I have? Because doing her lips would be really cool, but I don't think I have in my possession currently any, you know, really red ABs. Um, what color are her lips? Their, their H is like this part of her lip, and O is the top lip. H, O, and K. Um, yeah, 606, that's that red, red. So we would need, um, but the H is orange. I do have, but those are more, you know, Halloween-y oranges. I don't have a deep orange. Um, the red is a little too, these are a little bit too pink, I think, for this kind of red. Um, H, uh, let's see, J. We do have some yellow toned, I think, but I'm not sure that it's going to be quite yellow enough. No, uh, these are more pale yellows that I have here. So we did have the D that, that was an AB and I could order some and hope they arrive before I get this far into her mouth. We, uh oh, I did it again. Uh, washi tape that way. Maybe I should have done it um, vertical, but I'll, I think it'll be fine. There we go. Um, you know, I would kind of need some of the red for the snakes here too, but like I said, I do have these like pinkish. My other option would be to do the unthinkable, which is pull some ABs out of other kits containing ABs and borrow them for this one because I would love to see her lips in a in a red AB. Wouldn't you? Um maybe we can. Maybe we'll do something like that. I know I definitely definitely want to do the snakes. I see a lot of C here, which is a green. I know I saw kind of a darker green here. Um really don't have a green but I do have some like I said some browns some blues so we can at least I think with confidence do her eyes I think it with some confidence we can do some of the brown parts of the snake it's just the red parts uh, and the yellow parts of her lips and the snakes that I'm concerned uh, we'll see what we can do, you guys. I think that might be the plan, though. We'll definitely A, B up her eyes, uh, I think, is a smart choice. I think accent, accenting some of the brown in the snake is definitely going to be a choice. Some of the darker green. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to focus the A, Bs. What do you guys think about that plan? Are we, are we down with that? I mean, I perhaps could give her eyeliner, AB eyeliner, because we do have the correlate for the, um, these symbols here. We do have the AB correlate. So I could, um, do her up some AB eyeliner and eyeshadow, shadowy area as well. That might look nice. If it doesn't, it comes off. We can pluck them off and put the regulars down if we don't like the way it looks, right? Yeah. All right, I think that's going to be the plan. So we're going to go with eyes. We're going to go with eyeliner at least, perhaps eye shadowing over here because we do have those black ABs. And then we're going to do some greens and browns and uh, throughout the snake here. And if I can dig myself up some red for her lips and the red part of the snake, some red or some deeper orange, we'll do that too. It'd be nice to AB up her eyes right there as well. All right, you guys, that's the plan. Sorry uh, for the addendum. Wait, see you later. Bye.